Good evening. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Friday's Boxing News, starring your host, one and only, Ted Wuga. This week, it's been announced that Zab Judah and Amir Khan finally got their uh, differences set aside and they made the fight happen. Looks like it's going to go down July 23rd in Las Vegas. It's going to be a 55-45 split in favor of Amir Khan. And uh, they were battling back and forth. Uh, Amir Khan wanted 60. Zab Judah said no way. He wanted 50-50. Then they wanted Atlantic City. By yada yada. But they finally settled it. And uh, looks like they're going to be going for the uh, big light welterweight matchup at 140. And uh, Amir Khan's going to try to unify all the belts by winning, starting out winning uh, Zab Judah's IBF light welterweight belt. Since uh, What's his name? The other loser. Uh, no, not Floyd Mayweather. Uh, no, Timothy Bradley. Yeah. Uh, looks like he turned down a guaranteed purse of $1.4 million not to fight Amir Khan for whatever reason. That uh, even, his, uh, even his promoter was pretty upset about what Timothy Bradley did. And he made this video saying, oh, I let uh, uh, Amir Khan off the hook this time, but I'll come back and get you. Shut up. You're a loser. Shut up and fight somebody, Timothy. Get away from all these Devin Alexanders and all those other people. Anyway, next up, uh, we have a video of Shane Mosley during, the, during his uh, May 7th fight against Manny Pacquiao saying that I believe it was after the third round knock knockdown that uh, Pacquiao scored that Shane Mosley was complaining about his foot and he wanted the fight stopped immediately uh, he wanted Nazim Richardson to throw in the towel but Nazim wasn't having it and uh, looks like the final episode is going to air tomorrow just before the uh, Carl Frotch versus Glenn Johnson fight that should be a good one um, uh, I have uh, Carl Frotch winning by KO um, and uh, obviously it's going to lead down to the uh, championship of the Super 6. It's going to be Andre Ward versus Carl Frotch. That's going to be a good one. I have Carl Frotch winning this whole thing by a landslide, by knockout. Paul Bunyan style. Go Carl Frotch. Uh, also, next up, uh, looks like we have another interesting video uh, recorded by Ellie Setback from ES News. He was interviewing Bob Arum, and Bob Arum said uh, Floyd Mayweather turned down a $65 million guarantee fight to uh, uh, have the Pacquiao Mayweather fight in Singapore. Um, credibility? I don't know. Um, again, Mayweather didn't um, release a statement denying that this happened, so. We have to favor a little bit towards the Pacquiao side, but again, you have to take everything that Bob Arum says with a large grain of salt. <laughs> uh, last up on the news, like I said, uh, Carl Frosch is going to be fighting Glenn Johnson tomorrow night on Showtime. It's going to be a good one. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all this that's going on between Floyd Mayweather, Zab Judah. Uh, these are really exciting uh, summer fights that are going to happen. I personally can't wait. Um, I have, I, that's a really toss up type fight. I don't know, because Zab Judah has the experience. He has the power, he has speed. Amir Khan has volume punching, which uh, it's been shown that uh, Zab Judah doesn't, uh, doesn't do well when people are coming at him too much. He likes to just pick his spots and, you know, box. But, that should be a good one either way. Uh, I would love for Zab Judah to win. Uh, personally, I was a Mir Khan fan before, but now I'm starting to dislike this guy a little bit. He's a little too, uh, a little too into himself. And uh, yeah, he's, he's starting to remind me of like a young Floyd Mayweather, how he was doing. You know what I mean? I don't know. $65 million, that's a lot of money. I mean, if I was standing there on YouTube, let's say, and I was like, Hey guys, I would, you know, I would give you guys all this money right here, you know, all this, and uh, all this on top of that. I mean, we're talking a couple thousand dollars here. 
you know, would you guys turn, <laughs> would you guys turn it down? I don't think so. Any one of you guys would punch me in the face in a heartbeat for this. So Floyd to turn down sixty-five million dollars? I don't know. Frankly, if this is true, this is probably be my last video I do of Floyd Mayweather. Even mentioning his name in my videos really gets my hair to stand up. Anyway, this is Friday night. Tomorrow night's going to be good. Join me and all the fellow boxing fans on the Showtime fight. It's going to be great. And uh, look forward to seeing you and what you guys have to say in the comments section. Rate, subscribe, and uh, we'll go from there. Until next time, this is Ted Wuga. Peace.